It's another firsty. First Issue Club is back, and this time we're talking about Stronghold by Phil Hester and Ryan Kelly. All right, so when I saw Stronghold come out last week, I saw Phil Hester across the cover, and I picked it up. Uh, I'll say that uh, Phil Hester is a native to my hometown. Love the guy. He's so, so cool at conventions. Has done a lot of cool stuff in the past. Does a lot of independence as well as working with the mainstream pubs. So I'm always interested to see what he's up to. Stronghold, very, very interesting story. Man, a lot to unpack here. First off, let's talk about the art. I really dug it. It reminded me a lot of some of the 90s comics that I would read. The coloring is beautiful. I think it really sets a tone. There's different palettes throughout the book that really differentiates the many different environments were taken throughout the course of the story. So just a nice visual cue from the artist to help us keep our bearing of where we are in the experience since we do hop around to multiple locations in this book. Like I said, a lot to take in in this first issue. Where to begin on this plot? I don't know that I have something that I can necessarily compare it to, which is probably a good thing, right? It was a pretty fresh read to me. The book starts out with our main character. He seems like a guy who's living a really ho-hum life, and he takes a leap of faith to save someone who's fallen off of a bridge, and then finds that he can live underwater. He stays down under the water for about 15 minutes, and is doing great. Ultimately, we find him going to his therapist, as one would, trying to find out if I was crazy, if any of this really happened, right? We find out that there are some deep seeds planted in his life, and people have been following him for a really, really long time and know that there's something special about him. There's this whole society um, that has some rules about them that kind of reminded me of what you hear about Rumspringa. And they go about when they grow up and reach the age of adulthood and have a, while, a little bit of time to go explore the world and they can decide if they want to come back and devote their life to seeing how our lead character grows as a man and whether or not he discovers his powers and uh, how this group can maybe keep him in check. We're slowly discovering that other groups are aware of this too. There may be people out against him to get him. One of our characters seems to be romantically involved with him, which complicates things a little bit. They go on a date much to the chagrin of this larger society that's trying to keep a really close eye and control on our main character's life. Again, a lot to unpack here, but I think it made for a pretty riveting story, although a very long read. Again, to reiterate, Phil Hester, he's my guy. I love him. I'm going to keep up reading this book, see where it goes. It's definitely had a couple cliffhangers already or a couple plot lines that have left me wanting more, and I'm excited to see where they go. As always, there's ton of other... <laughs> As always, there's a ton of other great first issues that came out this week. We talked about Sharky the Bounty Hunter and High Level on our podcast this week, so tune into that on iTunes or Stitcher. And we've got plenty of other videos where we talk about the first issues from last week and weeks prior, so check those out if you're looking for some new reads. Bye!